Hi. What's the deepest hole we can possibly dig? So at some point in their lives, nearly everybody has wanted to dig a hole down to the center of the Earth. The only problem is, nobody ever has actually dug a hole down that far. This leads us to the question that this video is all about. If humanity decided that digging a hole was the number one objective of our species, then how deep down could we actually dig with modern day technology? Let's say that okay. we start somewhere on the Earth's surface and just start digging from there. Not too far down at 1.8 meters and we arrive at the standard grave depth in western culture. So if you're afraid of zombies, this is how far down they'll be coming from. 4 meters down and we arrive at the depth that Pharaoh Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered at. A little further at 6 meters below the surface, we've reached the maximum depth that metal detectors can pick up signals from. At 12 meters, we can find the deepest burrows dug by animals, the Nile crocodile. A little further down at 20 meters and we arrive at the depth of the yeah. Paris catacombs beneath the city of Paris, a tomb that holds the remains of over 6 million people. Double that distance to 40 meters down and we can see the deepest swimming pool in the world. If you drained this pool and jumped into it from the top, it would take nearly 3 seconds before you would hit the bottom. This video is a few years old, now there's an even deeper pool in Dubai. I think it's called Deep Dive Dubai. It's nearly 200 feet, so I think that's 60 meters? 50-50 on these conversions I do at the top of my head. It's always worth checking. 100 meters down is the usual distance that governments bury their nuclear waste I think 60. At. And just beneath that, at 105.5 meters down, is the deepest metro station in the world, located in Kiev. Moving on to 122 cool meters down, and we see the deepest known point that a plant's roots have ever reached, a fig tree in South Africa. 220 meters down, and we arrive at the deepest river in the world, the Congo okay. River in Africa. Beyond that, at 240 meters, you can ride through the deepest railway tunnel in the world that connects the Japanese islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. But mm. at 287 meters down, you can drive through the deepest road tunnel in the world in Norway. 305 meters down, and you would still be vulnerable to the B-82 Earth-penetrating nuclear warhead, which can destroy structures up to this depth beneath the surface. Incredibly, though, at 392 that. meters, we arrive at the deepest well and possibly deepest hole ever dug by hand. This is the Wooding Dean Don't Water Well in the UK, hand. and it was dug all the way back in 1862. When he says dug by hand, what tools are we talking here? Pick, shovel, anything not mechanical, or... Maybe I'll have to Google Wooding Dean Water Well and I'll get back to you. Or get back to me if you know. At 603 meters down, we arrive at something terrifying. The deepest vertical drop inside of a cave. If you were unfortunate enough to be in this cave and fall down this hole, the fall would be higher up than falling from the top of the One World Trade Center in New York. And the fall would take you over 11 seconds before hitting the bottom. Even further down though, at 700 meters, is where the Chilean miners were trapped at for 69 days back in 2010. 970 and they all meters down is the deepest hole ever dug that still has an open sky above it, the Bingham Canyon Open Pit Mine in Utah. This pit is so deep that you could place the Beautiful. tallest building in the entire world in the center and still have over 100 more meters to the surface. Much further down at 1,410 meters though is where the deepest concert ever held happened by the band Agonizer in Finland. 1,642 meters heavy metal. down is the depth of the deepest lake on Earth, Lake Baikal in Russia. And 1,857 meters down is the deepest part of the Grand Canyon. The deepest known cave on Earth is located 2,197 meters beneath the surface in Georgia. But the deepest <laughs> hole that you could actually fall into goes way deeper than even this. All the way down at 3,132 meters is the bottom of the Moab Katsong mineshaft in South Africa. Taking the elevator takes four and a half minutes to reach the bottom, but if you fell into it from the top, it would take you 25 entire seconds for you to hit the bottom and think about what you've just done. Long enough to receive and miss I would an hope entire to pass phone out. call. Even further down at 3,600 meters is the deepest point that a multicellular organism has been found alive, this freaky looking worm. But human oh. beings themselves have been even deeper than this. 
4,000 meters down is the deepest part of the deepest mine on Earth, also located in South Africa. The trip Must from the so surface hot. down to the bottom takes over an hour to complete, and the temperature at the bottom can reach a sweltering 66 degrees Celsius. 6,000 meters is the average depth of the oceanic crust beneath the ocean floor. Way down at 8,848 meters is the height of Mount Everest if it were placed underground instead. 10,994 meters down is the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean. I already covered the depth of the ocean in another video, but unbelievably, Maybe. humans have actually dug down significantly so deeper far. than even this. For reference about what's next, 11,887 meters is the average altitude that a commercial airliner flies at. But deeper than that, at 12,262 meters is the depth of the Kola Superdeep Borehole, a project where the Soviet Union attempted to drill all the way through the Earth's crust. They only reached a third of the way there, though, because right. the temperature at this depth reached 180 degrees Celsius, which was too hot for the drill to continue operating any further. The hole is also only 23 centimeters wide, so luckily you can't accidentally fall into it. If you dropped a quarter down Internet. the shaft, though, it would take about 50 seconds before it hit the bottom. Recently, however, this depth has been surpassed by the Z44 Shavio oil and gas well, which has drilled down to a depth of 12,376 meters. That's the equivalent of stacking 15 Burj Khalifas on top of each other, and currently represents the deepest hole that humanity has ever dug. The crust, mm. however, can extend down to 70,000 meters below the Earth's surface, and the planet's center is located 6,371 kilometers down. If the surface of the Earth is Lisbon, Portugal, and the planet's center is Astana, Kazakhstan, then humanity so far has just ventured this tiny, insignificant distance. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched- I love these size comparison videos. So I don't think he necessarily answered the question that is the title of this video, what's the deepest hole we can possibly dig, but now I know how far we've dug. And then he did pose another question at the beginning of the video and specified uh, he was talking about modern day technology. So I think he did answer that, but I'll take it. And my key takeaway from this was our limitations to digging further has to do with technological capabilities and temperature. But now I wonder if we can dig further than we've dug in the past, considering that the last time we tried to dig so deep was a few years ago. So we likely have advanced technology from then, but I'm not sure if that has anything to do with being able to withstand hotter temperatures. No idea, I'm just spitballing here. I'm thinking out loud. I don't know anything about digging, excavation technology, engineering, but some of you might, so let me know what you think. This was a subscriber request from a channel called Real Life Lore. You'll find the video linked down below. And I like learning random facts in general, so if you have any similar videos to this one that you want to recommend, feel free to let me know the title. Have you ever seen the movie Holes? No reason. I was just thinking about it during this video. But some other cool underground places besides the catacombs in Paris are this underground city in Turkey. I think there's another one in Poland and one a bit more shallow in Portland, Oregon. I recently did a deep dive on this after watching a Mr. Ballin video where he was speaking about this girl who goes out to a night of party and gets lost in the underground of Ukraine. Let me know if you can think of a non-metro underground city or underground of a city. Anyway, literary recommendation. The book in my head has nothing to do with digging or engineering, but I did read it last year and it's probably my second favorite book to play adaptation, Phantom of the Opera. It came to my mind because one of the main characters, Eric, lives underground in Paris. I actually saw an animated version of that here on YouTube that doesn't exactly follow the book, but it was very good. So I'll make sure to add that down below for you as well. Let me know if you can think of any relevant books and leave your thoughts.
on any of this. And thanks for watching with me. Thank you.